Hello and welcome to that British homestead. Today, what I'm going to be doing is planting out my mushrooms in deep mulch. So we have oyster mushrooms, blue ones, and we have some wine cap mushrooms. They look gross, don't they? Which have been living in my um, fridge for a little while and I'm going to be planting them out today. So let's get started. All mushrooms need an area that's going to be shady. This area is going to has, have raspberries in it. So I'm gonna start off with, do you mind Mr. Chicken? Mrs. Chicken even. I'll start off with these ones and then I'll move on to these ones. So let's start. I've never done this before, but I know they're about a foot apart. So I'm going to break the grains up that look truly revolting and open them up. My dog has actually nibbled them somewhat, as you can see. So hopefully they'll still be okay. They look nice and moist. So what I'm going to do is systematically make a little hole, hopefully not get stung by a stinging nettle, get all the way down. I'm going to take a few of the grain, I'm going to bury it. I'm going to do it about a foot apart because that's what I've been told to do. The internet has spoken and that's what I'm going to do all the way along. Now I'm hoping that when these plants get their leaves they're actually going to go ahead and shade my mushrooms in a perfect world. Now this will take a little while to develop, but I'm so excited about my mushrooms. I've never grown mushrooms outside, but why not? And every so often I'm gonna feed them wood chips because that's what they eat. All of the mushrooms that I've chosen are mushrooms that can be fed by wood chips because as you guys know, I get a lot of free wood chips, so why not? Now this works really good in deep mulch because you're quite not really gonna disturb this deep mulch. I'm not doing it in say my potato beds that I'm gonna dig up and ruin. But this should work quite nicely because I'm not going to really damage the soil structure here massively. Now I'm not, there's no rhyme or reason how much I'm putting in. I'm putting in more than a sprinkle but no I'd say more than a pinch as well I'd say like a, a healthy pinch if you're cooking you know the sort of pinch that a child would put in if you say I'll oh, just put a pinch in and then put like a really massive pinch in so this is a little bit like we say bucket chemistry I have to say this is a bit bucket gardening there's no there's no like rhyme or reason what I'm doing there is a lot of water that's already in these um, in this bed which is awesome I'm so excited about these and I've just sprinkled a load of the ground with them as well so that that big bit can go in there that bit can go there I don't want it too much on the paths on the basis that I have to walk up and down this path so so I'm digging a little hole with my bare hands because my hori hori knife is once again in the car taking some of this spawn which looks like that and just sprinkling it in a bit more there we go it looks like it's nice and nice worm in there okay and then I'm gonna dig a little hole again this is fairly deep mulch and I think either this one or the next one is gonna be the last of the wine caps that is going in which is very exciting yeah it doesn't seem to be any mycelium in this bed yet which is good well I don't know if it's good or not but means there's space for our mycelium to grow. Uh, struggle. I hope I'm doing this right. Right, that's that done. So this one here is a oyster mushroom. I believe that is an oyster mushroom that's already grown on it. And I'm going to be sewing this out. This grows work really well in wood chips as well. And the mycelium on this one is mental. 
as you can see. Look, oh, that is an actual moisture. No, it's not, it's mycelium. That's crazy. So we'll be breaking off bits of this and I'm gonna be planting this out like this. Like that. Or I'm gonna fall over backwards, whichever comes first. <laughs> This actually feels like mushroom. It's mad. See how well it goes anyway. This feels, this one feels better, but that doesn't mean anything, does it? It could be that I've waited a little bit too long. literally no idea if this is good or not So I'm breaking them up a little bit and then I'm covering them up with more wood chip and I'm thinking <clears throat> I really need to like remove the wood chip out of my chicken coop which is full of really good nutritious wood chips it's broken down over a year I'm thinking about moving that wood chip on top of this just to feed these a little bit more some more wood chip and helps me get rid of the wood chip there as well it's fine weed Ugh. so it'll be two birds and one stone right there there's another raspberry there coming up Ugh. I was actually so worried about bringing in the second packet just in case I didn't have enough room or time to put it in today, but it does look like I will be doing the second packet. I'll probably be doing the second packet in the rain tomorrow, which is very exciting, isn't it? I'm so looking forward to that. This bit's a bit dry, actually. Nice deep bit there. It looks a little bit like nougat, don't you think? Nougat, I think it does. <sighs> One more, I'm definitely hoping that all of this um, like seed that I'm planting doesn't sprout because <laughs> it's gonna be barley everywhere. <laughs> barley! Right, one more bed to do. I've only got a little bit left. Doesn't it look like nougat? I personally think it does. And this is the reason we did such deep butt mulch. So I'm hoping that it works really well. Right by Jeffrey, who's here. This is nice and moist. I thought it was raining then. <sighs> mm. 
I'm so excited about having mushrooms. I'm hoping that they all work anyway. Welcome to that British home instead. The place that you watch someone dig a series of small holes. That's what I should have called this. Digging a series of small holes. Oh, I forgot about that. There's actually wood underneath this as well. That's going to rot down real nice. Bit of a hygge culture. Helps with water retention and that, doesn't it? Oh, this is. I'm more like dropping it into the hole at this point. Oh, look what's coming up there. It's a rhubarb. There's rhubarb all over here. A little bit. There's another bit. Ah, found it. Last bit can go there. I cannot believe that was a whole pack. Okay, so that's now all done. Yeah. I'm so excited about it. I can't believe if half of those come up, I'll be so happy. My goodness. Now, all of this is done. I've still got to do all of over here and down the path. So I've got one packet left. I'm also going to put some mushrooms into Jasmine's little flower patch. I think I'm going to do that probably tomorrow. I don't know if I'll take you along because it's meant to rain tomorrow, which means I can't really use the fancy camera. Can't use the fancy camera when it's raining. I might use my phone, we'll see. It's very exciting. Okay, so, like I said, this bed's, so we're pretty much full in here. We've got one bed, two beds, sorry, on this whole side of the allotment, and we've got this side that's gonna be full of tomatoes. We're basically finished this whole allotment. We're gonna have mushrooms, oh, it's exciting. The chickens are protesting about something. They're telling me all about it. I've just given them a load of like scraps from the kitchen. And they're very excited about that. All right. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope that you've seen that I've done that. I don't know if it'll work. The proof is in the pudding. It's all well and good looking at someone being like, yep, they've done a thing. But unless you actually see what they've done you know and see the fruit of their labor or the mushrooms of their labor it doesn't really mean anything does it so i'm hoping oh i'm hoping that it does work and it looks great but we'll see i'll come back in a few weeks time maybe a month's time and i might be able to see some mycelium where i've planted it so i'll, I'll do that if if it comes and if it doesn't i'll tell you how embarrassing that is all right see you next time Bye bye